Hello, hi everybody. In this, my second tutorial, we are going to uh, learn how to make uh, our actor, uh, how, how we are going to learn how to change our actor from a cube to a, a character, a soldier. Okay. Uh, so we need a, a soldier, a, a model of a soldier. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to model now. I'm going to show you uh, the easy way. And the easy way is download a model and uh, put into our game. Okay? And uh, I'm going to show you a website. Maybe you know it, but I think, in my opinion, this is the best site for download models from for Blender. Because it's, uh, all the files you can download here is, uh, is in Blender format. So nice okay uh, we we uh, we have to choose a category i like game engine because uh, the model that you can download here in this category in game engine category is a low poly model and it's ready for use in the blender game engine and i'm going to search for a soldier for example okay there are a few ones i'm going to choose this one Blend swap is free. The only thing you have to do is uh, register, uh, make you a, a account, and login. I have a uh, one, my account, and I have to search again. Soldier. Okay, here we go. This SWAT model. We are going to download it. Okay, I have do it already, and I have uh, extract the C file that I, what I got, and uh, the C file contains contains. Okay, I'm looking for the folder here. Okay, contain these files. Char modeling gun rigging done and dot. 2.5 version and only the character rigging. We are going to choose the first one, character modeling. Okay, we have here the, mod the model with a rigging with a pose, but I need this one, the model without pose. Sorry, here. Okay, but. Uh, I started in this file. In this file, uh, we start with the the configuration, the setup that uh, we made in the first tutorial, in the, in the previous one. Okay, in my last tutorial, we reached this simple setup, this simple configuration, only just a cube with a simple move, movement. I can go, go straight and I can turn and that's all. Okay. So what we am going, what I'm going to do now is uh, change my cube for the soldier, not change, uh, join it. Okay. So my soldier is in, other, in another blend that I have just downloaded. So what, what I have to do is that import it. So I going to file in, uh, pardon sorry uh, appen file appen and i have to look for my soldier and uh, what is the name sorry i forget the name of the file swat swat this one go to object and i choose the uh, name of the soldier i don't remember i don't know so i'm going to open the soldier and i'm going to check it uh, here we go so i ha i want this oh we have a problem because my soldier is made of parts different parts okay so what we have to do is joining in a group or joining in just one mesh so 
in this file, in the shoulder file, we're going to select with the right uh, mouse button and the shift press it. We are going to I'm going to clicking all the part of the shoulder, not the skeleton, the armature. I don't want the armature. So first of all, I'm going to delete the armature. Okay, now easy. Again, chief press it, right click, and I'm going to select it all the parts, the parts of the soldier. Or we can uh, press C, and I got the circle, and right cl uh, clicking. No, it's not working. Okay, forget it. Right click. Let's go to the side view, pressing three in the keyboard, the uh, number keyboard. Okay. And I'm going selecting. If I push B, I get this border selection better. Okay, I'm going to leave the, the gun. I don't want the gun. I push B to select. I, I push B and a, a left click. And to leave the gun is push B and middle button click. Okay. So now we are going to make a group, object, group, create, create new group. So it, it turn all the mesh turn, uh, as you can see, green. And this is saying us that we have a group. Okay. I'm going to save the file. File save with, okay. I'm going to change the name. Save apps, uh, soldier. Oops, here. Soldier. Okay, here we go. Now we uh, come back to our first blend, the the one with the cube, and I'm going to okay this one. I'm going to fill up in desktop SWAT soldier group I'm going to import a group name group link and what happened nothing but uh, really it I oh know <laughs> sorry it's here okay I have my solder right here and I want to join the message I, I prefer only one part no uh, split it in part okay so just I select everything everything of part of the soldier. Okay, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to deselect the cube. Okay, now uh, control J, J, G. Okay, you can see here what I push. And I make my shoulder only one piece, piece. Okay, so I'm going to go back to texture, texture view and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to scale my shoulder, scale my shoulder. Okay. I have not a lot of lights, uh, so I can see in a good way the color of my shoulder. It's black and white. Oh, uh. and it's black and white because I in multi texture view so i push n and i change shading mode to multi texture to glsl okay or i can keep i can leave in multi texture and choose solid but i prefer glsl okay so what i did is just after all of this import a model from another blend to my game, my actual game, okay? So I have a cube that is moving and I have ice soldier. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to turn my soldier, my physics soldier from a static to a, where is dynamic ghost. So I make it a, a ghost, no actor. Okay, I don't care about actor. Okay, and what I'm going to do is to parent 
the soldier with my cube. So I select the soldier, right click, shift press it, and right click over the cube. Now I have to push Control P and select object. So what I, now if I move my cube, my solder is moving too. I have to reorientate it like this. The foot of the shoulder in the same place that the bottom of the cube. And if I push P and I move my cube, I have a shoulder moving. Okay. The next step is to make invisible the cube. It's so simple. Go to physics with the cube selected and push invisible. So now I cannot see the cube. I can see just my soldier moving without animation. This is go uh, we are going to learn how to use the armature, how to how to create an armature, and how to use it to make animation in the next tutorials. Okay, I hope you enjoy, I hope you can understand me, and thanks for watching.